Yo, what is going on guys? Loco here and I'm back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about some of the most insane last second clutches for FNCS this past weekend and also going to go into a few teams who were favored to win grand finals but then not even making it past opens. So let's get right into it. All right, so FNCS happened and when I say that I mean basically the whole entire FNCS happened this past weekend. Basically, open semis and then finals happened during the course of two days, and then boom, another open semis and finals started immediately after that. In my opinion, this is insanely chaotic, and if you're a player, you are playing long days consistently for the past week, which easily gets overwhelming and stressful. Pros have taken to Twitter to voice their opinions on this, and pro player Tycho, who has been placing insanely well recently, stated on Twitter, I'm not gonna lie, I low-key like the quick FNCS. With the money only being in grand, it's probably a better idea for them to do this. He also stated that it's a little different if you're talking about EU versus West because of the sheer amount of players competing on EU compared to West. It would potentially need another round, but under the suite was a reply basically seeing it from the other point of view. Diego Plays replied and said, more weeks equals less RNG equals more skill, and there is more time to improve as well and learn from mistakes but qualifiers are only three days and so many good players didn't qual. Before we get into the next part of the video, I feel like this is super important to touch on and I'd love to hear your guys' opinions in the comments on this. Basically, Tycho, who's been placing really well all season, thinks that it's good to get over all these open qualifiers out of the way in one weekend since the qualifiers don't give a prize pool anyway. Why should we waste four weeks of long tourneys with absolutely zero prize pool until the end when we could get it done in four days instead? And obviously on the flip side, the shorter the tournament, the more random it could be, especially with the meta and how it is right now. One bad day out of the four days and that's it. You can be an FNCS grand champion, but if you don't make it out of opens because you had some bad games, well then that's it. The two months of practicing this season has come to an end and you'll be looking forward to the next season in a month from now. Speaking of FNCS Grand Champions, Booga posted this on Twitter claiming Chonkers in Grand Finals, but it didn't go down as easy as it seems. Fortnite's been having an insane issue of players loading into Grand Finals, and if you haven't guessed already, it happened to Booga just moments before his final two games. It happened on EU a bit over the weekend, but nothing major. However, Booga was in fourth place going into the fifth game. Top 8 automatically qualify for Grand Finals, so surely one good game out of Booga would auto-qual him and Miro, except it didn't happen like that. While loading into his 5th game, Booga got disconnected from the lobby along with 13 other players. Bunch of people in the top spot didn't load into the game, which just destroys their chances for the top 8 spot. Players were in an outrage and most deleted their tweets, however, they were absolutely begging for a restart of the game. If only one or two people didn't connect, then whatever, but when almost 15% of the lobby didn't load in during finals, it should be an automatic restart, hands down, and I think that Epic handled it pretty poorly. Clicks posted this video on Twitter if you want to see what it looks like from his point of view. What happened? Clicks wasn't that close to qual, which is why no one made a big deal out of it, but there are some big names that it did affect. Obviously, Boog and Miro clutched up crazy in their last game to secure that 8th spot, but if you look at ninth place, it's the GOATs, Cold, and Scented. Scented also didn't connect to that game, and then ended up missing qual by 4 points, which is like top 30 or something in their last game, and they would have automatically qualified for Grands, which, by the way, has a $637,000 prize pool for NA East. At the end of the day, it's not the biggest deal if you're a tier 1 pro and you didn't auto-qualify. A lot of these teams like Scented, for example, are almost a guaranteed qual to grands based off just their skill and consistency alone. And from a viewer standpoint, we got all the bad games out of the way. Heats and grand finals are going to be extremely entertaining to spectate and follow along for sure. But there are some big names missing due to everything that we've talked about so far. Everyone knows Reed as the West Demon. He won the previous FNCS by a landslide, but unfortunately, he will be missing grands this time around. He tweeted last night saying, praying for Stingers to be gone next season. And in my opinion, after watching Reed and Rex, it seemed as if they trolled the first half and then realized it wasn't a free qual, tried to catch up a bit too late. To be fair, however, yesterday they only needed a few more points and they got hard stream sniped game 5 and then going into game 6, Reed apparently got DDoSed and held his internet offline until the game 6 queue was over. 
I honestly don't know what to say about that, considering that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard someone do. Imagine stream sniping someone, holding them in zone in FNCS, and then go to hit them offline in the next game. Super strange if you ask me. Overall, I thought it was pretty interesting to watch. I even played it myself. I got top 175 in semifinals this weekend, so no grand finals for me, but it was a ton of fun streaming it overall. I think before any more FNCS matches are played, Epic Games really needs to figure out this Q glitch because it can potentially mess up life-changing money for someone or even multiple people. So much has happened this weekend. I tried to sum up some important info throughout the regions. Let me know in the comments if you think this format is better or worse for FNCS in general. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Don't forget to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button for more content. I'll be updating you guys on grand finals and heats over the next couple weeks. Much love, guys. Peace out.